Yeah, cool. Um, exact same thing, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about we have two different examples, right? We have one where the transverse axis is going to be horizontal, and we're going to have an example where our transverse axis for our hyperbola is going to be vertical. So we want to make sure that we plot our points first, so therefore we can determine are we going to be dealing with an equation? Are we going to be writing an equation that's going to have a hyperbola that is going to be with the transverse axis horizontal or vertical? So let's just plot it real quick, just to kind of take a look. So as I plot my points, negative 1, 2, 5, 2, and then my vertices are at 0, 2, and at 4, 2. So I have my vertices and my foci, or foci. Now, ladies and gentlemen, is this going to produce a hyperbola that's going to have a transverse axis horizontal or vertical? I'm guessing it's vertical. Wrong. Folks, remember, your foci and your vertices are all going to lie on the transverse axis. So therefore, they're all going to lie on this axis right here. So are we going to have a transverse axis that's going to be horizontal <coughs> or vertical? Horizontal. Horizontal. You can, can, do you see you know, how it makes more sense when oh, I put them on a horizontal line? Um, oh, okay, got confused. <laughs> so, um, now we need to write on our equation because that's what we want to figure out. So our equation that we're going to use, since now we're going, we know it's going to be horizontal, remember we always have for hyperbolas a squared minus b squared. Is this at zero, zero? Sorry. No. no, we'll talk about that in a second. So therefore I'm going to have oh, x yeah. minus h squared minus y minus k. Okay, so therefore, to, for us to figure for us to figure out this equation, we need to know the center. We need to know a. We need to know b, right? So remember that the vertices are the exact distance from our center point. So I have vertices at zero or ne or at um, negative one, two, and at five comma two. So how far is that distance? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, what I, one, two, three, four, five, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, right. So you could say 2a equals six, right? So therefore, my a equals three. That means the distance from my center to my vertices is going to be three. three. So therefore, if I just travel back three, I can figure out where my center is going to be, which is Where's my two vertices? Um, one, two. Oh, I was doing four. Five five. minus three. Where are you? I was doing my foci. I'm so confused. That's because I was doing two C. The distance between your two foci was two C, which is C equals three. My apologies. If I do A, the distance between my two vertices, which is zero, two, and four, zero, four. was four. Thank you. So you can say two A is equal to four. <coughs> Divide by 2, a equals 2. Now again, let's go in two units from our a, or from our vertices. 1, 2. Let's make this a different two, comma, 2, three, six, two. And now let's go three units from your foci. 1, 2, 3. Oh, look it. My center is going to be at 2, comma, 1. Yes? How did you find the center? Remember, the center is exactly in between your two vertices and your foci, no. right? It's two comma two. Yeah. Yes, two comma two, right? It's right in the middle between the two vertices and the two foci, right? So what I did is I pretty much just found the distance between my two foci and divided it by two. I found the distance between my two vertices and then divided it by two, okay? Because it's right in the middle. The center is right in the middle. It's equal distance to both vertices and both, and both foci. Where so you just need to find that middle, which is C is the distance from the center to the foci. C is this distance from the center to your foci. A is the distance from your center to your vertices. So now we know our center. Center is two comma two, right? Very, very good. Um, now let's go and take a look at. So if we know the center is two comma two, 
Um, the next thing is we need to figure out what our a is. Well, we talked about a, or sorry, a squared. We know a is 2, so therefore a squared is going to equal 4. four. Now, do we know what b squared is? No. But do we know what c squared is? c squared is now going to be the distance, remember, here. So c is 3, so c squared equals 9. Now, why is it so important for us to be able to figure out what c and a are? Because now we can figure out what b is, right? C is bigger than a, though, when you figure it out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at it. So remember, in this one, we're going to have um, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, right? So, but remember now, it's a little bit different than what we were dealing with on the last one. Your b is going to represent different values. Because remember, now we have this inverted, right? It's not opening like an ellipse. Now it's inverted going back the other way. So therefore, remember, look at a is smaller. It, a is small. Remember, on an ellipse, a was your larger, right? Because a was outside your foci. Now it's inside the foci, right? So here we're going to have c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So we have 9 equals 4 plus b squared. Minus 4 minus 4, you get the square root of 5 equals b squared. So therefore, Isn't it just square root of why did you oh, sorry, 5. Sorry. Thank you. I'll just go to the next step. So now, just to find my standard form, I plug in my center, which will be x minus 2. <coughs> squared minus y minus 2 squared divided by a squared, which is 4, minus b squared, which is not 9, 5. five. But I thought you said a squared was always bigger, even in this. And that's why you said... I didn't say anything with this. I just said we we're always going to be subtracting your a minus your b to keep it constant. I didn't say it's always going to have to be bigger. I just said to keep things consistent because remember, if you don't have it consistent, if you're doing something bigger, then yeah, you wouldn't have the same thing. Okay. But in what that was, that was the distances. <coughs> Excuse me.